These are standard practices carried out around yeah. the world, and these are the best practices as claimed by the industry. Okay. So you're seeing... So do you think the industry has to change, or we just have to stop eating animals? I think that if you put yourself in their position, there's no nice way to kill you, is there? You don't want to be killed, right? Well, if I didn't know it was coming... Sure, but if you have a choice to not be killed, would you up for that? Uh, Surely you would, right? Yeah, but not, there's no, there's no, there isn't yeah, only get, two options. Yeah, I get your point. Right. Yeah, I get your point. Yeah. There's yeah. more than only two options here. Yeah. There yeah, isn't kill them or kill them in a better way. There's also the option of not killing them and not yeah. enslaving them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a complex subject because um, it's multifaceted. How so? Like, well, right now, what's going on um, in Canada is that we ship horses to Japan in horrible conditions in airplanes, and then they. They kill them in Japan. I mean, but of course they the do hell? because it's a non-vegan country. Yeah, what country. the hell? Why, why, you know, why is that necessary? And why, why are they doing it? And because there's a, a demand for horse meat in Japan. I guess. Yeah, we don't eat it in Canada. We don't no, eat but we eat cows, meat. chickens, pigs, and fish, which yeah, is yeah. no different. Yeah, yeah. For the victim, it's no different. No, no, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I, I uh, applaud what you're doing. I think it's really good, and I've watched. I can't remember what they're called now. What are the big ones on Netflix? The documentary, Knives and Forks. Forks over um, Knives. Yeah, that's a health documentary. Yeah, and then what's the other one? Cowspiracy. Yeah. What the Health. Yeah. Perhaps. Whatever I can see. Yeah, about. they're talking about plant-based eating and, yeah. and how can, that can impact your health. What I'm talking to you about is about animal abuse. Yeah, yeah. And, do you, and if you think animal abuse is wrong, uh, but then you're consuming meat, dairy, eggs, yeah. and other products coming yeah, yeah. from animals. You are actually yeah, yeah. abusing animals. Okay, what's the? I don't quite understand why you can't have an egg or or a dairy. Would you like to know what the industry does to the chickens? Oh, is that why? Okay, it's the production and how they get the egg. Well, even but if, if you... it was Bob the chicken or you know Sally the chicken on a farm who gets a great life and she lays eggs and you eat them, then there is still an issue there. Okay, and what would that issue be? Well, again, we're talking about a very fringe example here. So okay. let's not get lost in the source and think that this is the general application oh, to society. Because okay. this is a very niche example that we're talking about right now. But even in that niche example, the chicken doesn't want to be viewed as a production unit. They only produce eggs for you to eat. And the only reason that you would have a chicken on your property, let's face it, would be because of the eggs that they produce, right. not because you have an affinity with chickens or you want like a companion animal that just so happens to be a chicken. You're only doing that because of what comes out of their right. bodies and that's exploitation at its finest. Okay. The other okay. thing is they do want to eat their eggs sometimes because they lack nutrients, basic nutrients, because of the fact that they're biologically modified genetically through manipulation over the years that we've been breeding and domesticating these beings to produce an egg almost every day. And this is very exhausting for them. So they do try to attain their nutrients back from eating their eggs. Okay. They're also very protective over their eggs because it came out of their bodies. And sometimes an egg can turn into a baby. So they protect their eggs and they don't want you to take them. Okay. Even if they were okay with you taking them, there's no way to confirm that because they don't give us consent or any kind of verbal clarification to this. So that's better to err on the side of caution and to assume that they just want to be left alone like me and you would like to have our liberties and our bodily autonomy. So it's about extending the same very basic nuts and bolts rights to animals as you okay. would have for yourself. I see, okay. If you're against animal abuse, the only way to not be an animal abuser is to be vegan. Right, okay. To be someone who views your existence as not superior to these other right. animals. Okay. That's yeah, yeah. human supremacism. That's what yes. that is. If we think that we're the most important, most valuable. Sure, sure, we have some aspects that are more outstanding, right? Look at what we've done to the planet. Obviously pretty impressive. But look at what we're also doing to the planet. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. raping the planet of its resources and acting like we can do whatever we want to all living creatures. Like they belong to us. Yeah, but they're not yeah. here for us, they're here with us. Right, okay, got yeah. And so got that yeah. paradigm shift is very simple once you see animal abuse is wrong. And if you don't want it done in your name anymore, if you want the bloods to be cleaned off your hands, then 
being vegan is the only way to achieve that in this modern world where you don't intentionally cause harm to animals. Do you know what the benefit is to be vegan? The number one benefit? Well, you're a lot healthier. Well, that's if you eat a plant-based diet correctly, but that's conditional and it's also separate to what we're talking about. Um, okay, you tell me that. So the benefit, well, benefit for the animals is they no longer are abused and tortured by you. You're no longer the reason that they're tormented. And the benefit for you is that you no longer have to be a hypocrite because you say you're against animal abuse and when you're supporting it, you're obviously pro-animal abuse, aren't you? So you, you no longer have to be an animal abusing hypocrite. Right. You okay. can just rid gotcha. yourself of that right now gotcha. by being vegan and live in alignment with the morals that you say you have just by changing your actions, not changing who you are, just your actions. Gotcha. Do you think this is a first world thing? First world problem? Issue. issue. Like, like that comes to the forefront because it's a first world issue. This is an issue anywhere where animals are being needlessly enslaved, tortured and killed. But you're saying that every animal would be in that category then? Every animal who's every needlessly animal. abused, tortured, killed, they all deserve to have their liberties. What I'm telling you applies globally to all animals because for the victims, this message applies regardless of where those victims are. Well, I appreciate the conversation. Thank, Thank you. So what do you think sharing. you'll do after this? Oh, I, I'm, I'm in the process of considering. I've been considering for months and it's not an easy jump. And a vegan told me, if you want to become vegan, just don't do it overnight because it won't last. You know, you're frustrated with it. Would we take that position with any other injustice? Would we say, okay, I understand that racism is wrong or child abuse is wrong, but I think it's really difficult to stop it all and I'll take my time. Sure, sure. Or would we just stop? Sure, I get you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Once you understand that animal abuse is wrong and you don't want it done in your name anymore, it's as easy as, it's as, easy as the day to, right. okay. to change. Okay, super, so, thank you so much. So I'll give you a card if you like. Yeah, yeah. Would you like one? So this will give you more of yeah, an informed got, choice. Yeah, if you're not okay. yet convinced, the best speech you will sure. ever hear is on YouTube. They're all free to watch. Okay, cool. And there's support there. And I can share this with other people that I know that are interested. So. Yes, good. Thank you. All right. No worries. You take care.